Treasurer, apparently Senator Bernardi now has 22 signatures to back um, uh, changes, a relook at 18C and changes to 18C. I know the government says it's now not government policy, but isn't there a point where internal demands for change on this warrant a rethink from the government? Well, look. Because like when I was asked about ANC a while ago, it doesn't help me pay back one set of debt. It doesn't help me reduce the deficit. It, it doesn't help me get one more person in a job. Uh, it doesn't help me um, get welfare under control. Uh, it doesn't help me improve the tax system. Uh, these are the things I'm focused on. And uh, there's a discussion that's occurring on those matters. That's where that will take place. As Treasurer, I am focused on arresting the debt. Seeing as that's your focus, do you then then think that there needs to be a message sent to uh, Senator Bernardi and these other coalition backbenchers who are pushing this uh, agenda to to get back into line and focus on the budget rather than no, these look, side no, issues? This is this is this is the home of our national democracy. I mean, the parliament opens today. Members and senators of all parties and uh, from all walks of life are ex free to express their views. That's a wonderful thing, and we celebrate it. I'm saying, as treasurer, my focus is on arresting. The debt. I mean, debt is growing by, on average, $1.4 billion a week. A week. And we need to arrest the growth in this debt. And the way we do that is by passing measures in this parliament, whether they be the savings measures that are, uh, will be introduced this week, or whether they be the revenue measures, uh, like on tobacco excise, which will be introduced this week. Um, these are measures that help arrest the, the, the debt that is that is going to get beyond us unless we take this action. And, and the Prime Minister's right. This is an intergenerational challenge. 